No, I'm not the one. Sing it again. Just say it. Say it again. 3LW been on my mind lately. For sure. I can do bad all by myself. What's your favorite 3LW song, by the way? It's just random. Randomness. Random shellacky foolishness. Okay, hope y'all doing all right. I'm doing all right, y'all. Hang it in now, y'all, y'all. Y'all know. Um, okay, so RuPaul's Drag Race. Um, I have to upload some photos. My sister had a uh, little 90s get-together party. It was kind of lit, so I'm going to upload that. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, RuPaul's Drag Race. You know, Scarlet Envy had got sent home. That, in my opinion, was definitely a personal thing um, as to why she got sent home. I don't think that Scarlett deserved to get sent home. Um, it just didn't seem right to me. I just didn't think it was right. Uh, you know, Scarlet Envy was not my favorite in the world. You know, she was not definitely not my favorite on her season. But she definitely deserved to stay. Just like, and if you want to be real, just like on season 11, when her and Raja lip sync to Donna Summer's Last Dance. Um, I think that was a tie. If anything, that was definitely a tie because Scarlett did her thing on that lip sync. Technically, Raja, I guess, was better. But they both killed it, in my opinion. Anyway. So Raja, uh, Scarlett got sent home. She did wrote her little message and stuff. You know, uh, there seems to be a little romance brewing <coughs> between Trinity K. Bonet and Eureka O'Hara, child. Is Eureka and Raja and Asia, is they all in the same family since they all got O'Hara behind their names? I wonder if they're all sisters or, or whatever, however that goes. Um, so, what else happened, y'all? So, on uh, this week, the maxi challenge was the ladies had to get together for a, um, a acting challenge with uh, RuPaul. Um, you know, he was coming up with his own version of, uh, you know, American Horror Story. Uh, called Rue Horror Story, I think. And, you know, something, something, The Coven. Y'all know The Coven on American Horror Story. American Horror Story, The Coven, was when I first actually started watching the American Horror Story series. Um, and I love The Coven. I still love The Coven. I may go back and watch The Coven. Um, in my opinion, it was one of the best ones. And I just, you know, I just love witches and stuff like that. So... Um, I actually have to get into this new season of American Horror Story Child. I didn't even realize it done started. Nothing. Y'all, if y'all want me to review American Horror Story, just let me know. Because I'd uh, be happy to do it, child. Because I love American Horror Story. Anyway. So, um, each of the ladies had a certain role. Um, there was this one role where it was like the preppy, cheerleader, glee type of role. That went to Janice. Um, there was, um, the Siamese Twins, y'all remember that was on, um, uh, the American Horror Story Circus. And, you know, the Siamese Twins, child, that went to, um, no, sorry, Freak Show, Freak Show. And that went to, um, Raja and Trinity. Um, uh, let me see, there was a Bearded Lady role that went to Eureka. There was the HBIC in charge that went to Sonique, although it was a little battle between Sonika Diganika and um, Gigi, Ginger Minch. Um, and Ginger Minch took the preppy, pre preppy, you know, annoying model role, which is played by Emma Roberts, who was the guest judge um, on this week's episode. Emma, Emma Roberts, darling. Julia Roberts' niece. Emma Roberts, she always plays those mean, bitchy roles, don't she? She's really good at it. I wonder if she's one in real life. I hope not. Uh, let's see. What else is going on, y'all? Um, 
Who else we had? Pandora. She played. Um, oh God, I had her name in my head. Anyway, on the cub and the lady with the red hair, um, the one who used to just give it to um, uh, uh, Fiona all the time. What was her name? Aunt, Aunt Gretchen. Aunt, um, y'all know Balenciaga. What was her name with the red hair? Um, Aunt Myrtle, I believe. Myrtle, I believe that's her name. But anyway, she played her role, which was perfect for Pan for Pandora. I thought. Actually, you know, when I sit back and think about it, I think the people that would best portray the roles did it. You know, Akira, she played Gabare Sidibe's character um, on the Coven. Um, yeah, but, well, she's the human voodoo doll. Who else? Am I missing anybody? I think I said everybody, I think. Anyway, so we get to the acting challenge. Um, all of the girls pretty much needed instructions from Ross and Michelle. They all needed a little bit of help. Um, some of the girls needed more help than others, like Raja. She needed a little help. Um, Sonique needed a good bit of help. Uh... Michelle actually got off her chair and to actually sh instruct Monique on on Sonique on what's going on. Sonique Kylie, y'all know. I know her as Sonique, so that's why I'm gonna call her Sonique. Um, I go back and forth between Sonique and Kylie, not to misgender her, not to nothing crazy, cause you know it's they're both feminine names, girl names. So I like Sonique personally, then I like so Kylie. But hell, that's just me, right? It don't matter. So anyway. Uh, what else is going on? So, you know, they was, you know, going back and forth. A lot of the girls needed help. Uh, Ginger Minj, she's an actress. She was natural at it. Eureka was good at it. Um, Pandora held her own. Trinity held her own. Um, but everybody else, pretty much, Jan held her own. But everybody else needed a little bit of help. Anyway, so we get to the runways. I love everybody's runway. The runway theme was Oh My Goth. So it was a lot of gothic looks. Um, everybody killed it. Everybody looked great. They had an all black. They was killing it. The two looks who I enjoyed the most was Eureka and Trinity. Their looks was amazing. Um, so who ended up safe? was Trinity and Pandora. And then later on, who ended up safe was Eureka, Ginger Minge, and Jan, I believe. So, um, the bottom girls was uh, Raja, Akiria, um, was it just Raja and Akiria? Yeah. Those were the two bottom girls, and yeah, okay, I got it. Who won the challenge was actually Sonique, which I thought that was interesting that Sonique won. I love Sonique, Kylie, and, you know, I think that she's fabulous, and I think she's a fierce queen and a fierce person. Um, But it's interesting how the fact that she had to get up off of her stool, Michelle, to go show um, Kylie what she wanted. Um, and that wasn't like taken into account a little bit more. Because when a judge has to get up out their seat, I would think that that means that's not good. But, you know, it's nice to see that Michelle really believed in her and all that good stuff. And obviously, all these girls are talented and they have everything the judges are asking for they all have inside of them it's just you know pulling that out and everything like i get all that but it's just interesting just like last week how ginger man won the challenge but ginger man wasn't in the top group um so uh, uh the, the who didn't you know so uh, whatever whatever they do all kinds of shit on the show who knows so um so Nick won the challenge, you know. By this time, everybody's sitting back, deliberating. They're talking. They like, look, we love Akira, ass almighty, but Akira has been in the bottom three times, and you know, ultimately that was the right thing to do. 
um, it was just time for her to go, unfortunately. And we love Akiri. And ultimately, that's what ended up happening. Because Akiri and Raj was in the bottom two. Now, since um, Kylie won the lip sync, she had to meet her opponent. And who she was lip syncing against was Manila Luzon. The legendary, iconic Manila Luzon. You know, um, it was a big gag on her season of All-Stars when Naomi Smalls sent her home child. I remember that. That was a mess. Um... But yeah, uh, they lip sync to Christina Aguilera's Dirty. Now, to me, both of them was boring. Kylie did a little bit more, gave a little bit more than Manila, but Manila ain't never been no big lip syncer to me. Um, talented, though, in, in every single area, she excels. Not that she's a bad lip syncer, but she's just not. When I think of the best lip syncers in drag race history, Manila is just, you know, I get Manila for everything else, of course, but, you know. Uh, um, but anyway, Kylie did her thing, but both of them was a little lackluster to me. This is Christina Aguilera's Dirty. Like, y'all could have gave more energy. It was just, I was looking at both of them like, so is anybody going to do anything? You know, Kylie, she finally did a couple of splits and kicks and dips. I was like, all right, flips. All right. So, um, Kylie ended up winning the challenge, uh, the lip sync. And the um, the girl who they chose to let go of was Akira. You know, as we know, the big thing about this season is the fact that it's a game within a game. RuPaul says it every week. We don't know what the hell that means. We don't know if that means this is going to be an extra, extra long season of drag race or or what like is are we just gonna do all these girls and let them get down to one or two and then that's when we're gonna bring all these other hoes to come in and like i don't know how they're gonna do it but i guess we'll see we'll see i'm down for an extra long season of drag race shoot this is a good season it's a good group of girls they got and some of these girls deserve a second chance for sure anything else i want to talk about um, no, I think that's it, y'all. Uh, do, 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 do. Just off the top of my head, my personal top five would be, uh, Raja, Eureka, Trinity. She gonna be in there anyway, probably. Ginger. And, um... Uh, Uh, Scarlet. I think they're going to bring Scarlet back and Scarlet's going to kick ass probably. Um, so that would be my top five. Uh, as far as a winner, who I would like to win, I'm cool with either Raja winning, Trinity winning, or Eureka winning. I'm cool with either one of those three winning. For sure. Eureka be the first big girl winner, I believe. Trinity was such an underdog. And right when she was getting ready to get started to excel in the competition, she got sent home on her season. And Raja has been, you know, has truly come full circle as, as being one of the uh, most hated by the fan base. Mostly a bunch of racist ass people, but being the most one of the most hated on her season and to now coming back and in my opinion being one of the most um celebrated so she she that would really be you know such an amazing thing for her um anyway i have mr chalaki mr chalaki on google plus follow me at it's on instagram and twitter at Eskinsworld89 on Snapchat, Chase King on Facebook, Mr. Chalaki on Cash App, and PayPal. And as always, run me my money, I run me my fade. Run me my money the way I get paid. Stay black, stay tuned, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.